Our next recommendation is the cat dancer. So the cat dancer involves a springy piece of wire with some rolled up cardboard um, on either end of that wire. So you're going to have a little cardboard handle and then a bundle of rolled cardboard at the end. Now the toy looks incredibly simple and it is incredibly simple, but it has a very interesting uh, way of moving that really resembles an, an insect kind of flying around. And for a lot of cats, that movement is incredibly enticing. So this product is again, one of the most popular cat toys on the market. It's been tested by over 8 million cats and a lot of them seem to absolutely love this toy. Now, my experience was a little bit different. I can't, I think maybe my cats just don't really like toys much. Um, I actually have had the Cat Dancer for a while before I tried it out for this review. And over the course of the year or so that I've had the Cat Dancer, my cats have only played with it a few times. When they did play with it, they seemed really excited and interested, but those occasions were few and far between. Um, so again, I think maybe this is just a personality issue. The Cat Dancer is definitely a really popular toy. Even though my cats didn't seem terribly interested in the Cat Dancer, I would recommend it to anyone who's looking for a really good wand style cat toy with a great reputation. One of the cool things about the Cat Dancer also is that uh, it allows you to interact and play with your cat without doing a lot of moving around. So you can certainly run across the house with a Cat Dancer and get a lot of action out of it, but you can also get some very interesting and enticing movement out of the cat dancer with just a shift of the wrist. So it can be a good option for people who have limited mobility or just can't or don't want to move a lot. So you could sit in a chair and move the cat dancer around and it would still be a really interesting and entertaining experience for your cat as well as you.